Hola mis amores, bienvenidos a mi canal otra vez. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. Today I want to talk about the new palette that just came out from Sydney Grace called Autumn's Rain. They have been anxiously awaiting this palette. So I was watching them release one shade, one shade, one shade, and I was getting really, really excited because there are some colors in here that are just absolutely amazing. So this is what she looks like. Okay, you've got a nice row of mattes with some transitions and you've got a super dark, I don't even know what color that is yet, maybe is this supposed to be a black, we'll find out, um, in here and then some gorgeous shimmers and a little, little couple of mauve moments. So I am really excited. Sydney Grace traditionally does in single shadows and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is their first palette where they've put all these shades together. So I am super excited to create a look with this. I'm gonna throw in a couple of other different products too, and we're just gonna make this awesome. How about that? And, oh, there are so many pretty shimmers in here, I don't really know where to start. I'm kind of overwhelmed, I'm having a moment. Let's get started. I could just look at the palette all day long. Now let's prime the face with some Bobbi Brown Face Base. For foundation, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Golden Beige. You know, there's a debate about whether swatches really tell us anything or not. What do you guys think? Do you think swatches actually do give us valuable information or does it just kind of show us the color? What do you guys think? Leave it down in the comments, tell me. Now I'm going to use powder and I'm gonna do Coty Airspun. Whew. And put that all over my face. Now we're gonna do some bronzer and I have never used NARS Laguna. Everybody be talking about it, okay? Because it's been around for quite a while. And so, I wanna try it. So here we go. I'm gonna try it. And I'm gonna give you my opinion, okay? So, this is NARS Laguna. Where is it? Okay, let's try another layer. But it is light. Okay. Now for blush, I'm going to use some Jouer. And this is, there are two different ones. There's a more, there's a lighter shimmer and a darker shimmer. Uh, the darker one is called Marigold and the lighter one is called Rose Petal. And this is their Rose Gold Blush Duo. It took me forever to get this because every time I would check Sephora, it would be sold out. It was extremely frustrating. So I finally skipped Sephora and went straight to the source and just ordered it off the Jouer website because I couldn't get what I wanted. So I'm gonna go in with Marigold here. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back to my little NARS palette. Now, that is called the Orgasm Highlighter. So we're gonna try and see how I feel about that. So let's see. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, now I look like Rudolph de Nariz Roja, okay. I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Brow Pencil. Bluey, a bluey kind of a look with this, with this palette. Okay, and I am going to set my eyeshadow primer with this first color, which is Queen of the North. Isn't that fabulous? Wrong end of the brush page.
Okay, very delicate hand when you pick that up, when you pick these shadows up. I'm gonna go in with this next color right here. It's like a lightish brown. It's called Nature's Crown. Isn't that? I love these names. These names, are, I'm digging. Names are so, so pretty. Okay. I'm gonna go in with this golden wheat in my crease. I really like that they thought about, this could be used as a transition, this could be used as a crease. You can tell because there's, like tonally, there's different levels of darkness and I super appreciate that. So thank you, Sydney Grace, for that. Also, I don't know if y'all know, Sydney Grace was one of their home was at risk during one of, during the wildfires in California, and they were lucky enough to survive that and their home to make it. So send them positive thoughts and prayers for that area of California because no doubt there are people that they know that have been affected and we definitely need to keep those people in our thoughts and prayers during this time so please do that okay so we have got our browns on here and I'm gonna go in first with this wondrous night color which is right here I'm going to put that on the inner corner of my eye. Okay, I have not moistened my brush at all, and they are picking up amazingly. Okay, then on the outer half, the outer half, I'm going to put this Moonlight Kingdom, this shimmer here. It's a blue shimmer. Looks really pretty. Okay, so there's the color kind of packed on. Now we need to blend. We need to blend, blend, blend. Now I'm going to go into this matte color here, this blue, it's called Majestic Breeze. I'm gonna put that on the outer corner and I'm gonna shape my V. Hit it with some concealer with my Tarte Shape Tape, the big guns. That was a dorky noise. I'm gonna use this Cut Crease Brush from Sigma. Something, something that I noticed. Did you notice it? I used really dark colors and I did not bake to try to catch any of those darker colors, which is awesome. I have to say that is pretty spectacular. This little brush from Alamar Cosmetics and I'm gonna go into the same color, Majestic Breeze, and I'm gonna basically use it like um, eyeliner on the bottom here and stamp it in. For that, I'm going to use my Sigma Liquid Pen Eyeliner. Okie dokies. And we need, I need to set my face and then I need a lip. So let's set the face first. This is NARS American Woman. I'm going to put that on. So 
some of the Stila Caramelo and put that kind of in the middle here. A little ombre lip moment. I like that. Okay, my thoughts. Oh, I can't do thoughts. We need swatches. What am I doing with my life? Ah! Okay, let's do some. Final thoughts. Um, this is a beautiful palette. I think all of the colors, you know, when they made the color story, I really think had looks in mind that you could combine and create. And here's the thing. When I decide that I want to buy a palette, I look at the palette and I, and I try to see how many looks I could create. And when I looked at this palette, there's a look right here. 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 There's a look right here, okay? Without me even thinking about it real hard. And that's what I really like about a well put together palette is the fact that you can look at it and you can instantly be inspired in different looks that you wanna create. So I love this palette and I think it is a job well done and this is also a great introduction for me to Sydney Grace eyeshadows and it tells me that they are top-notch and it's something that they're individual shadows that I will want to investigate further all right guys thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some and I will see you on the next one hasta luego Mwah.